If you're trying to go into labor, what meal should you cook to induce your labor? We're going to break it down in this video. Hey, my name is Sheena. I'm a perinatal fitness trainer and birth doula, and I have eaten so many things at the end of my pregnancy to try to induce my labor, and we're going to talk about whether or not they worked. And I'm Roxy, and I'm a labor and delivery nurse and student midwife and mom of three, and I've also tried so many different recipes to induce my labor. Did any of them work? A spoiler, I was 41 weeks and three days for two of my three pregnancies. No. No, they did not work. <laughs> but what are the common recipes that people recommend be like, oh, I ate this meal and I had my baby the next day or I went into labor within hours of eating this meal. And there are so many you Google, like what food will induce my labor? There's so many recipes and some even claim like some restaurants or bakeries will be like, this is our labor inducing meal or labor inducing cupcake. What are they? So one that I hear very commonly is eat pineapple. Eat like five pineapples and it will induce your labor. So where this thought process comes from is when pineapple juice touches uterine tissue, it causes contractions. So unless you are inserting pineapple juice up your hoo-ha, like you are probably not going to be inducing contractions, would not recommend also. Yeah. So eating a bunch of pineapple will probably just give you like sore lips because oh, it's yeah, a little bit more mouth. acidic. Um, maybe might cause some throat. diarrhea. Yeah, you might have some diarrhea, which, you know, that could cause. That's also that a reason why maybe labor. people say it because it could cause GI irritability. So it upsets your bowels. Bowels are directly next to your uterus. So if they're irritated, it could irritate the uterus, which could lead to labor. But also, I don't know if you want to diarrhea during labor. So if you like pineapple, eat it, but eating it will probably not induce your labor. Yeah. You don't have to like withhold pineapples either during pregnancy. Again, it will not induce your labor. So eat the pineapples if you like them, but maybe just like some pineapple, not five. Another thing is spicy food. Should you just douse all your food in hot sauce? Like just eat the spiciest level of Thai food? Like will that induce your labor, Roxanne? No. Probably also just GI, dis GI distress. <laughs> yeah. All of these foods, the similarity with a lot of them is that they cause some GI distress, which again could lead to labor because the GI distress irritated, irritated your uterus, which is directly next to your bowels, which makes you go into labor. Um, so like if you're lactose intolerant, you know, drink a milkshake, <laughs> maybe so that'll cool. induce your labor. <laughs> but I d it's not it's not the not the recommendation. Now, there were two recipes that we tried during our pregnancies, and you did go into labor like the next day, though, so maybe, oh, maybe yeah. it worked. The first is eggplant parm with a ton of fresh basil. The key with the eggplant parm recipe is that it has to be a lot of fresh basil and some other spice or herb that goes in there. I can never remember the other one, but it's it's the basil, the fresh basil and the tomato sauce, as well as the eggplant that they say induces labor. I went to a restaurant here locally to us and got eggplant parm the day before I went into labor. Again, just spiraling. So I was like, we're going to try it. Eggplant parm, everyone says it. I had a friend from college who was like, I had eggplant parm and I went into labor. So I was like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I got it. And then I think we also like made pasta with a ton of like literally bought four basil plants, <laughs> just like cut them all up and put them into sauce. And I did go into labor the next day. Coincidence. Though. Is there any research that supports this? No. No. Anecdotally, though, there are people that swear by it. There are like restaurants across the U.S. that are like, our eggplant par will put you into labor. Will it though? The other one was these lemon drop cupcakes. So I heard about this from a doula client who is from the town that this bakery used to exist in that made these like lemon drop cupcakes that like pregnant women were eating and they were all going into labor at the end of their pregnancies. And so we got the recipe and we made them. But you have to eat like six of them. They're like very rich. But the key is like all they are good. Eating six, though, is not. It was hard. Fun. But made it for Roxanne. She went to labor. Within a couple of days. Yeah. I did not eat all six and I did not go into labor. So maybe it was that was hard the to eat all it's six. Hard I had to like, I, I had to struggle through it, but I was like, I'm going to try it. 
But we will link our recipes in the notes below, even though there's no research at all that supports that yeah. lemon drop With cupcakes. With the lemon drop cupcakes, it's like fresh lemons. You have to buy like 24 lemons to be able to make the recipe because it's a lemon cupcake with a lemon like buttercream. And then there's this like le lemon sauce glaze. that goes like a lemon glaze and sauce. So there's a glaze that then it's the frosting and then there's a sauce that you insert into the middle of the cupcake. So it's like very lemony. If you don't like lemons, I mean, don't. I mean, they don't are delicious. It, but they are delicious. Cannot eat six in a row, though. No. That's a lot. But, but we've tried it every every birth since my first. So And it's worked for Roxanne 100% of the time. Well, once. It had worked once. The one time we used it, it was 100%. Uh, for me, zero. 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 <laughs> it did not work Gina at all. Is zero, four, three. We'll try it again, though. We'll are still very try it comfortable again. in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll still try it. Another thing that I've seen is there's some sort of salad. Um, there's a restaurant out in like California somewhere that they swear it's like the dressing for their salad puts people into labor. So the common theme with like the lemon drop cupcakes in this salad is the lemon juice. But there, again, no research for it. But if you live in that area, try the salad out and let us know. So we'll link the recipes in the notes below. And if you try them and they work for you, contribute towards our research project. <laughs> yeah, let us know. So is there any research that supports eating something will put you into labor? Not e eating like meals or specific foods. The only food that maybe will induce you is dates, which we have a whole video on dates that you can check out. But other than dates, no, nothing. Sorry. So if you enjoy eating certain types of food and it helps you feel better to eat them, to think that maybe you're doing something to support your birth, feel free to do it. If you feel stressed out by like having to cook this one specific eggplant parm meal to try to induce your labor, it's maybe not a good option for you. So if it helps you feel more relaxed and in control, that can contribute towards your labor probably starting because you feel more at ease, you're welcoming labor. If it makes you more stressed out, it's probably not going to be a great option. So don't do it. But there is probably not some food that induces your labor. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> But outside of nutrition, if you do want some more support from us throughout your pregnancy, check out our online prenatal fitness programs. While movement will also not induce your labor, it can help prepare your body for birth so that you can maintain upright positions for longer, which could maybe make your labor go a little bit faster. And our prenatal fitness programs also incorporate exercises to help you create more space within your pelvis and to release tension within your pelvic floor to make it easier for a baby to descend and rotate through. Our prenatal fitness programs are offered in the app and also as full-length workout videos, so you can choose whichever option works best for you, either a list of exercises with demo videos or a full-length workout video that you follow and work out with at the same time. And if you're looking for a childbirth education course to help prepare for labor and birth, check out our online childbirth education course where we discuss the science of labor and birth to take away some of that mystery to make it less scary. When we understand what's actually going on in our bodies during labor and birth, it makes it easier to kind of cope with and move through. In our course, we also discuss induction options, both medical and natural inductions, if you're preparing for a potential induction. You can check out all of our offerings, both our prenatal fitness and childbirth education course on our website at momsdayfit.com. And as a thank you for watching this entire video, you can use code YouTube10 to get 10% off any of our offerings. They're also bundled together, so you can get an additional 15% off when you bundle, which makes it pretty much free. So if you're curious about other natural induction methods, we do have an entire series on the different things that maybe induce your labor, probably don't induce your labor, but we share what the research says and what the evidence says about whether or not this induction method actually works, what our personal experiences, and then what we see professionally as well. So check out the entire series on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and comment below what random food did you eat that you thought would induce your labor and did it work or not?